So, as you've heard me say numerous times, you lead people. So I want to talk a little bit about the different types of people that you would lead in an organization. And once again, depending on the scope and size and location of various things, but there's a bunch of different generations out there right now. There's the baby boomers, there's the Gen X, and then there's the Gen Ys of the millennials, and then there's the Gen Zs coming in. So as a leader, you need to be able to understand all these different generations and what's happening with them. So the youngest of the baby boomers right now are 51, 52 years of age. Uh, so a lot of them are towards the end of their careers or moving, uh, exiting the workforce, if you like. Then there's the Gen Xs like me. Uh, up to 50 years, the oldest of the Gen Xs are just turning 50. Uh, so yes, I'm just turned 50. Uh, but so there's the Gen Xs. And then there's the millennials who are, you know, 24, 25 right now at the, at the older end of the millennial scale. But in the next three to four years, that group of, uh, or that generation is gonna represent 50% of the workforce. Right now, the baby boomers are one of the largest uh, you know, people in the workforce at the moment. Gen, Gen Xers like me, we're, we're much smaller. Uh, and then the, the millennials, they are the big wave that's coming through. Uh, so there's gonna be a whole bunch of those millennials and then the, the, the Gen Zs are following those. So you really need to understand the differences in those generations. Because, you know, there, there's going to be conflict within the workplace if you don't understand that. And if you can't lead that, those different generations, uh, virtually style flex to each one of those, then you're going to have a lot of problems in your organization. Some real basic fundamentals, you know, baby boomers, you know, they were born with the old work to live sort of mindset and motto. Then there's a Gen Xs like me who are looking for work-life balance, which we probably all know nowadays is really bogus. Um, you know, I like to pursue harmony to life, but we were after the work-life balance. Now the millennials and perhaps the Gen Zs as they come through, they're looking for work-life integration. So, you know, th their work and their life is one thing. They want to just do what they love doing. Now, we wanted to do that, but we know we have still some responsibility to do work, which the baby boomers taught us as, as Gen Xs. Um, and that's why we saw a little bit of balance and they just work to live. So after looking at all those things, there is one thing that all those generations have in common. And this is the secret to leading people. Okay, the, every single one of them is searching for meaning. Every single one of them is searching for meaning. Okay, so when you look at that, it's some of it's just at the opposing ends of the scale. So the baby boomers and perhaps maybe the Gen Xs to, to, to my extent, we're now looking for meaning for our life. We're looking for that legacy component now is, you know, what are we going to leave behind as, for the other generations? So we're still looking for meaning to it, but meaning to our life. Whereas the millennials and the Gen Zs as they're coming in, they're looking for meaning to their work. They want their work to mean something. Okay, so we got both of them searching for meaning. We're all generations, Gen X is baby boomers, millennials. We're all searching for meaning, just at opposing ends of the scale. So the secret here to your business is to make sure that your business has that sense of meaning to it. If you want people to work in your business, the baby boomers want to have some sense of legacy, so they want their, their job to mean something. So that's purpose. Why does your business exist? Help them get greater meaning of why their job exists within your business. Right? The millennials and, the, and even the Gen Xs like me, we still want to know that our work matters, that it makes a difference. You know, and then the, the millennials just even more so, I just want to do stuff that has some sense of meaning that I love doing that I can make money at. So meaning is critical. So if you're going to lead people, purpose drives. Okay? It's why people get out of bed in the morning for the same thing, posing into the scale, but your job is to help them find meaning. And I want to leave you with one of my favorite little clarisms, which is people all want to have a meaningful career or job or a meaningful life. So your job as a leader is to make sure that their work is meaningful.